There are four grouse species in North Dakota, and three of them, sage grouse, sharp-tailed grouse, and greater prairie chickens, are in attendance on leks or dancing grounds this time of year as part of their annual mating rituals. The fourth, and the only forest grouse, is doing likewise in the aspen forest on the state's northern tier. And what the rough grouse do is usually pick out a dead log. Um, they're, they're forest grouse, so they're specific to aspen forests, which in North Dakota, that means the Pemina Gorge and the Turtle Mountains. And those rough grouse will walk up and down that log. Um, they get to a spot where they can sit and they can beat their wings on their breast. And that, that sound makes an echo that reverberates through forests. When male rough grouse are fanning the air with their wings, it sounds like an old tractor trying to get started. They will come back morning after morning to display and try to attract a female from the end of March to the middle of June. They'll have more than one drumming site, but they are habituated to, to one or two primary drumming logs. The log itself eventually even gets wore down and you'll see the spots where they've been pacing back and forth and back and forth. When rough grouse are displaying, they're not going to be easy to locate like other grouse species on leks or dancing grounds on the prairies. They're going to be in thick forest. They usually prefer, you know, it's a downed log, but it's going to be in an area that's surrounded by cover, so well protected. Um, you could be 30 feet from these, these grouse and not see them, so a lot of times you'll hear that sound. Aspen trees are crucial habitat for rough grouse. Very specifically focusing on eating buds of aspen trees, that's their primary source of food, uh, particularly in winter when there's not other food sources, no insects. Um, and not a lot of green vegetation for them to, to nip at. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.